Yo, Luke, are you hyped? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Guys, final European Championship 2017 Utrecht. We have the unstoppable train. Who's Marcello Barberi. He's gone completely undefeated this entire tournament. He had already qualified for the World Championships before he walked through the door, and he has just left a trail he of broken dreams not behind him. Care. The absolute juggernaut that is Marcello Barberi had decided that, you know what? Yeah, I already have my uh, World Championship place, but what I really want to do is come to Europeans, be completely the first player to ever be completely undefeated from the first round all the way through to the final. Did he two? He didn't two everyone because we know Tom Payne he won didn't at least one everyone, again. No, but, but he's, he's still everyone. undefeated across yeah. every match set. He has won. Yes. yes. Wow. This has never happened. This has never happened. Just so you know. Yeah. So if he wins this, it will be the first in the history of the Yu-Gi-Oh European Championship. His yeah. opponent, the last one standing, Michael Forner, who's also now going to the World Championships to represent Europe and Italy. Um, is going to be the last man standing against the juggernaut. Will he take him down? We'll find out. Let's go over to the table now. I think... I honestly think Marcello has a very good cli uh, cling to strongest player in Europe based on this season's performance. Oh, definitely. Uh, I know a lot of people look at the, the leaderboard for the WCQ points and see Joshua Smith, highest points earner by a, an absolute mile, but just look at how Marcello has handled himself for this. I mean, he even took events off to do some commentary for us. Yes, he did. Um, he actually did. Given up points. <laughs> I, I'm Marcello, just shocked. so good. He doesn't even need life points. But yeah, it's the I millennium don't, beard. It's the I, millennium beard. I don't want to sound like there's bias, but I do feel like Michael is the underdog based on how Marcello has been this season. So, uh, yeah. Rapier, Forbidden Apocrypha, Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, My Bodley's Shield, and Twin Twisters. Rapier is coming down, and Marcello in the hand is Tenki, My Body as a Shield, times two, Zodiac, Ram Ram, and Solemn Warning. Okay, so, Sends yeah, the, Ram -Ram. the Rapier is going to resolve. He's going to get to resolve all of his combos, uh, his opening setup combos. So, Michael's going to be in a very good position. And just in case anything gets disassembled, there's a Forbidden Apocrypha right there just to make sure that Marcello won't be able to get into his plays. Yeah, the first turn from Michael is very, very good here. And he's also got the Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. He's got a Twin Twisters as well. But that means he has, he's gonna have to give up one of those cards if he wants to keep Twin Twisters alive should he need to answer a Zodiac Barrage or a Far Formation Tenki, one of which Marcello definitely has. Um, so it would be interesting to see which card he decides is the least useful one because he's gonna have to keep the Ash Blossom in his hand. I can't see him throwing that out. He might choose to throw my body as a shield out since he gets the setup first. But he gets a search as well for his combo, uh, so he might choose to add something that he wishes to throw out. Now, if, if you are just joining us, this is the final round of the European Championships 2017 in Utrecht. Now, both of these players are going to the World Championships at the moment. This is more just for those bragging rights of who is the best player yeah. in Europe. And to get this amazing trophy that's oh, been the, sat in front of us since definitely. round one. It is a beautiful trophy. And it is contained a tiny upside down Matthew Bell for the entire event. So I'm sure that they can take that with them. I am certain that neither of these two players will care or remember my name by the end of this event. <laughs> but this is their day, <laughs> so not sorry. my day. They're the awkward silence just afterwards. Yeah, I know. I was hoping Luke would back me up and say, hey, positive thinking, man, it's all okay. But no, he's just like, no, no, really, that's what's going to happen. That's all good. So there's a huge <laughs> Thanks, <Zodiac> bra. <laughs> combo going on there. Just a reminder of what Zodiacs do, which we've seen pretty much all the way through this competition, is that they completely flout the rule that XEs have to use two monsters to be able to bring themselves out of the extra deck, a deck which is just a com basically that you can choose from what Full we do options. like to play. Full of options. Full of options. So you only need one Zodiac monster to be able to start your plays. As you can see, as you've seen Michael do expertly. And the field he's going to end up on, he's going for the late game recycling. And he's also uh, having the, t uh, the very customary Drydent for the turn one disruption. Yeah. He's got My Body's a Shield, which he could keep to back himself up against uh, re potential Regeki Dark Hole plays. Oh, he drew an extra Twin Twisters. He's going to be okay throwing out one copy of Twin Twisters yep. here. So he's going to set My Body, Forbidden Apocrypha, and one copy of Twin Twisters, and hold the Ash Blossom in his hand. Play going back to Marcello, and Marcello has two copies of My Body's a Shield, so he's going to be able to play through the Dryden, no problems at all. 
He's got a Ram Ram and a Tenki, so he can start making, he can push out with his own plays. And a Solemn Warning as well. So he's got something to even interact with Michael on Michael's following turn. For, for everybody in chat, please go and vote and tell us who do you think is going to be the winner here. You can see, just along the ticker on the bottom there, you can see where to go and vote. I've also posted it in the Twitch chat. Extremely strong start for Michael. So is he going to go for that twin twister? I think, think that's very preemptive. Yeah, you think? Especially with Dryden. I mean, he could there. just if he's if he's going to use some twister, he could just use a Dryden, but that uh -huh. does leave him very vulnerable to a normal summon. Absolutely fine. But he's going to Ash Blossom. Okay, that's where he uses yeah, this. Makes more sense. Okay, so far we have twenty-one votes, and twenty of those are to Marcello Barberi. Yes, ninety-five percent of the vote is for Marcello, the real favorite here to win. Ram Ram special summons a monster except for itself, right? I believe uh, that's yes. correct. So he could actually... Okay, my body and my body. And he did try and use the Dryden knowing that. So yes, um, Michael going to be down his protection. And... Oh no, he uses his Dryden. Marcello uses his first my body. Michael throws in his to guarantee that that yes. Ram Ram goes down. So that's a normal summon down. And mm, Marcello has to pass. Twin Twisters. That will be Throw the end Twin phase. Twisters. He wants to hit that Solemn Warning. Yeah, that's doesn't the key care. One. The Zodiac combo is one thing. Yeah, whatever. He wants the Warning. And ideally, the My Body is a Shield as well. <laughs> Konami's next ban list. Marcello banned because he's too OP. <laughs> 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 I think it's the only it doesn't way work like that, guys. Come on. Yes. Does he hit the Warning? Knock on the door. I don't think he got it. He's got my body. He's got my body. Yeah, I could see my body, but I couldn't see the other one. I can't see uh, my body. Yeah, it it's warning. Wa it's solemn warning. Okay, so that just leaves a Zodiac combo. Marce Marcello, no cards in hand. One face down card. He's a sitting duck. Yeah, is there even three monsters in Michael's graveyard to use that? Uh, Dicoso Emerald. Yep, he gets away with it. Okay. It's, it's okay, Marcello. He's got... Plenty of cards he can draw onto this, but Michael definitely pushing out very, very strong here in the early game. Uh, for his turn, he Michael has my body as a shield, and is that the third copy of Twin Twisters? Okay, I believe it may be. Forty-six votes to seven right now, in favor of Marcello Barberi. Are we watching the same game, guys? <laughs> Uh, I think oh, we're so. talking about the whole match. So uh, I assume this is who would you like to win. No, no, this is who do you think will win. No, it's who would you like to win. Oh, so it's a popularity contest, is it? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, this P PJ uh, doing great coverage even from the Twitch chat. This is certainly like a boss battle for Michael. <laughs> no, I, I am. I I want Michael to stop the rampage. And so I many broken dreams follow Marcello <laughs> yeah. at this point, and Michael is basically the uh, the avenger of all of those who have fallen before him. One yeah. would say that Marcello does have dual madness and monster influence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're only sighing because it's true. Yeah, and it's late. <laughs> it's very late. <laughs> Yeah. And this game is so hype. It's This is going to be the last of my energy for today before <laughs> we get a flight at like 7 in the morning. Yeah, we, we do have a flight in about 7 yeah, or 8 hours Yeah, you leave in about 6 hours. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries, guys. We're, we're golden. We we're here. We're, we're here. doing this. <laughs> we're here, and we are going to watch one of these titans claiming the, claiming the title. Yeah, I feel like I feel yeah, I feel like Michael's playing a game right now, and uh, Mar Marcello is the D the extra DLC, <laughs> a big big <laughs> DLC back that's meant to be like impossible. Oh, you thought the game was too easy? He's the expansion. Here He's I am. Definitely. Just stole that from someone in Twitch chat. Sorry, dude, but that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the gear check raid boss. Yeah, exactly that. If you don't have the right cards, you are going home to try again. But come on, Michael, you're in a very good position here. We've we've got faith in you. Absolutely.
We li- yeah. literally the venue is being disassembled around us, guys. Yeah, that's, it, how that's how late it is. It is. <laughs> So many great Just plays. Really special summon Rapier. Got another level four. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was loud. What did you? Uh, <laughs> what did you? Is this something what, about? What, what if yeah. Marcello has been storing the winning cards in his beard all day long? <laughs> I can confirm that's not the case. Yes. <laughs> But yeah. the Millennium Beard may have been a factor. It's, oh, you can't call it that. You can't retcon that into the story. <laughs> of course I can. Uh, <sighs> Tristan Tristan had a reasonable beard, didn't he? No, no, it was the hair, the pointy hair. That was Ignore it. Me. Just imagine his face upside down. That's what my child looks I like. Just, I just think everybody should take the advice to ignore Luke right this moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's neither helpful nor productive. Uh, I'm sorry, we're kind of just going off a bit, <laughs> a bit off the topic here. It's just that this particular... But you can you can kind of see what's going on here. He has his two emeralds out. He is recycling pretty much everything in his graveyard, and that is a dryden there, I believe, just ready to pop things as they come up. Ram attack, ram. Attack, does and he doesn't attack, have attack, a attack. he doesn't have a whip tail in graveyard, does he? I don't believe he does. Not no. yet. Ah, and even then, he left his dryden in defense mode, so he wouldn't have been able to get the extra twelve hundred out of it. Correct. So four thousand. It's a big chunk of damage. And there's a tanky. I guess, why play this main phase two? Yeah, I could have tanked before and then. I guess uh, he's playing with Ryan Twin Twisters, because. He's Twin Twisters in main phase two. Yeah, but then it just. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, so. Uh, never mind. Marcello looks like he is fighting from behind here. Let's see what he drew. Does he have the heart of the cards, or will he just scoop into game two? Looks like he's yeah, scooping into game yeah, two. Yeah, yep. there we go. Michael takes one from the Juggernaut. So, siding. Michael, uh, going to be going second. Has Garmasils, Flying Seas, Forbidden Chalices. Um, most likely coming in. I don't know if he'll go with the Anti-Spell Fragrance going second. Uh, it's a possibility we have seen it. And I don't know if he saw from Marcello's deck. Uh, is Marcello playing the triple enemy controller? He's playing My Bodies as a Shield. So, so two, two mend. So the magic deflector might also be something to be considered Absolutely. from Michael. What is Marcello doing this round? So the dimensional barrier is definitely going in. Imperial order, likely. Ash blossoms, flying seas, maybe going to be for game three. Yeah. Well, these guys are uh, going to make these decisions. I'm not sure if they should probably be as fast as us based on how long they've been playing this. Oh, you guys, how are you, how are you feeling about this tournament so far? How have you, what have you been up to? How, how, is it, how has it been for you guys? Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been uh, some uh, very slow games, where it's, uh, but they usually picked up right towards the end. Um, Favourite so far has just been watching some of the Wind Witches and Pendulum Magicians really try their best to get through this horde of Zodiac that we've been having. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously there's been a lot of Zodiac, and that's... That's because that's the best deck at the moment. Um, but I've really enjoyed seeing the, the, the decks that got up to the, that top 64. So the Magician Pendulums, the, the Wind Witch Invoked, the True Draco version of the Zoo. All been super interesting that everyone's had their different takes on it. Uh, and, I, and I'm really looking forward, actually, to watching the coverage of the North American WCQ. Because oh, yes. it tends to be the opposite of what happens here. Yes. Yeah, generally everyone overplays the winner's deck and then people over counter it as well. Well, yeah, that actually didn't happen in the NAWCQ 2014. No, um, because they were just before us, and they all played kind of in hat format. And then That's our top four was the complete opposite. They, they, did, they didn't have uh, Raiden, though. We, we had Raiden. Oh, yes. The structure had just been released just a that week weekend. before. Yes. Yeah. yeah. W- they, they, they had a different format to us completely, whereas we have the exact same format for, for the NAWCQ. Uh, Magician Pendulum, potentially. Uh, we, as you said, you were talking about... Uh, Lorenzo Roma. Lorenzo yeah. Roma. Yeah. But we did see many of the Pendulum decks being picked apart by the sheer amount of disruption that the Zodiac deck puts out. I don't know if somebody can figure it out, but we did see the potential surprise Vortex Dragon and various kinds of plays like this that had not been considered. Astrograph still a very, very powerful card. Michael yeah. just staring directly at Marcello there. Marcello just staring off to the side. All right, guys, here we go. We're going on to game two. 
Michael, in his opening hand, really wants to see those hand traps. Uh, Maxi. Oh, there we go. Left him hanging. <laughs> left him hanging then. <laughs> Do you see Marcello did not look happy there. He, he wasn't going to, he was just going to wait. Yeah, he <laughs> was. Just like, he's he like, goes, oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're doing boy. this. <laughs> now, let me show you how it's done. Let's see how he uh, try, chooses to push he's, out. He's just enraging him. That's all that's happening. He's enraging it's the Okay, Okay, Michael, Michael's in a good position. He's one game up. He's feeling pretty good about it. Down comes Tenki. It's always a nice start. Mm. Definitely. Here we have the hands. Marcello has the Flying <laughs> Sea. Tenki, Imperial Order, Song Strike, oh, Dimensional wow. Barrier. That is an amazing turn one hand, that to be is. honest. Um, it Jeez. would be, if, but there is a Max C. My body is a shield, Twin Twisters, and Zodiac Rapporteur. And, and a Flying, flying C. C. Okay, okay. Flying just C. Come over. I was fine with Max C, but Flying C is too much. Yeah. But again, not so much of an issue because of the huge force that Marcello is going to be able to put in that back row. Yeah, yeah. But the true. Twin Twisters outplays the um, the Imperial Order. Well, it does, depending on whether each target something different. Yeah. It, and it again, how the chain is set up. Yeah, he has to wait. He has to absolutely wait for Twin Twisters. Yeah, he's not going to be playing any other spells this turn to bait the Imperial Order either. No. That's the thing. There's oh, he goes to Twin Twisters. Okay, discard yeah. your card. Cost. Oh, he discards the Torrential Tribute. Ooh, he decides he's me. going to leave his opponent on. Okay, so th those two. I think you have to. Yeah, you yeah, you, you have to. Order. Okay. Yep, there we go. So he the goes neg one. Yeah, the difficulty here is that. Down comes the wrap here. Um. Marcello cannot make the Dryden to get rid of his own Imperial Order because the Flying Sea is sitting yeah. there. So Michael now has a window, depending on how long he can play this trench game, yeah. to try and use the Imperial Order to drain away Marcello's life points. Yeah. And Marcello does have a Flying Sea also. So he's basically going to be putting Michael in the same position. Yeah, although Marcello's going to be one that's going to be hemorrhaging the life points from, this is true. from Imperial Order. This and is true. there's a max C should Marcello decide to get rid of the uh, Flying C. Uh, so Michael then can get back into the game this way. Um, all of his spell cards, so he can't even use his barrage to take out the Flying, the flying C yeah. because the Imperial Order is going to sit there wearing him down. But Marcello chose to flip that because he, he values his cards. And... We're going to see how that plays out. We have seen it cripple people, and we have seen it backfire royally this weekend. We appear to have just kind of stopped gameplay for a second. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, is there just a quick decision that Marcello, Marcello is making there? Yeah, He's there we go. He was deciding. Sea. I think he was deciding between the Flying Sea and just solemn striking it straight out. Yeah, is what he was looking at, as you can see by Marcello's field right there. Yeah, he's got he's got enough stuff to to make this game a crawling game. I'm I'm really struggling to see how Marcello outs this flying sea though. Take a look. What's, uh, he got? what's he got? Has he got some kaiju's in there? Yeah. Yeah, but why would you kaiju's going first? <laughs> Potentially to dance a flying sea is a tribute summon. Um, it's going to be difficult because even if he tries to destroy the flying sea with a card effect, um, Michael does have my body as a shield. Uh, Imperial Order. Oh, yeah. I know that too. Never mind. Oh, you. Um, okay, so <laughs> flying seeing in attack mode. I mean, that's also, yep. you know. Yep, he's oh, not yeah, why not? <laughs> there is that poke there. He, he now has board control. <laughs> yeah, he did take <laughs> However, seven points of damage there as well, didn't he? Was that during the end phase? Standby phase or end phase? During each player's standby phase, he'll take 700 damage. Oof. So, but it gives a lot. This is going to give players, uh, give both Michael and Martello plenty of time to set up yeah, their that combo there that he drew into their back rows. And Michael still has the max C to, uh, to push out with should uh, Martello actually deal with this flying C. Like, I, this is an insane question, but would you legit like summon max C right now, crash the two flying Cs, and go in? Uh, no, because he would have used his normal summon. He drew, he drew into Whiptail. Uh, but yeah, if he normal summons the, the Maxi, he doesn't have a normal summon. So yeah, may maybe not now, but I think in a couple of turns, th this may actually become a possibility when Marcello is getting much lower on life points. Yeah, I mean, making that play may actually the issue win the with game. normal summoning Would that Whiptail. Normal summon, yeah. Okay, he's got Whiptail as well. Sorry, the I problem didn't see with him tell. normal summoning that Whiptail mm -hmm. is it gives Marcello the chance to ram the Flying Sea 
into yes. the whip tail to get rid of it. Yes, absolutely. Or enemy controller. But I think we're, what we're saying is that yeah, okay, he's going to crash right. and then yeah, I he's going to play uh, into the sol uh, Michael's going to play into the solemn strike though. Swap the Mac <laughs> flying C's back around. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> My words okay, don't work. Okay, that's a flying C straight it off. I'm wondering if Michael could have got away with uh, sneaking a few more turns out, but then yeah, as soon I, as he had through the whip tail, he can't not normal summon. Yeah. Sorry, that was a double negative. He's, it's not good for him to sit there without normal summoning, and yeah. if he does, he just leaves an out to the flying C on his own side of the field. So this way, he now gets to start trying to generate a combo. Um, but he's going to get caught out by Solemn Strike. 2,200 life points going to be disappearing from Marcello by the time his turn has started. Strike. Strike at that point, yep. Yeah. Can't mind Modi that. Yeah. For two reasons. So Michael is actually completely out of options. There's nothing he can really do apart from play Maxi on a special summon. So if Marcello may, depending on what he draws, have the option to just go. Uh, he's got a Zodiac combo. He hasn't really got anything, any gas in the moment. He's got a dimensional yeah. barrier to slow Let's down the game by one Let's more Let's see what turn. he draws. But he's certainly Check leading more cards. What has he got there? Pot Desires. Oh. That no, is unfortunate. He's going to set that. Imperial Order takes away more of Marcello's life points. This is a shame. It would be a shame to see the Juggernaut be stopped by his own Imperial Order. Yeah, I feel like that's what's happening right now. That is actually Depends just happening. If, uh, slowly Michael truly. would really love to draw a Fru Blade right here. Yeah. He, uh, he draws a Ghost, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That doesn't have very many attack points. Uh, the Fru Blade not. would be great because he can um, start ticking him away. Does he just play the Maxi and start attacking? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> very little life points. Uh, it's still way too many to be giving up your max C for a t uh, the tiny bit of damage. Okay, so 21, 28. Yeah, okay, so if he attacks with max C, that's an entire turn he takes away for, for yeah. Imperial Order at this point, based on the, the life he's got. I think I saw a monster. Okay, yep. whip, tail. whip tail. Whip tail. And he's ready to be able to start. Does he really have the ability to... To be honest, I think even if he just overlays onto that and just starts attacking... Yeah. Literally go up to go up into, like, a Bob or whatever, up into Dryden and just start attacking things. I really think the so. The thing is, is, if he gets his... Uh, if he gets Dryden, he can then take out the Imperial Order and then he can play Pot of Desires and start pushing this game ahead. Yeah. But that would involve him basically giving up the rest of his Zodiac combo to take out his Imperial Order to start moving. Yeah. Just stop the bleeding. 700 life points is a lot of life points. It is. It is a lot of life points. It's 1,400 each time the turn spins. Yeah. Assuming your opponent doesn't hit you in between. And that's, yeah, and that's less than Whiptail, unfortunately. Oh, well, he attacked with Whiptail. Marcello does have my body as a shield. Oh, does he? No. No. No, he can't, he can't even use it because of the Imperial Order. Yeah. yeah so that's even correct. if the Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit comes down, he's got no way of uh, stopping that, taking out his Zodiac monster. Yeah. I seriously think it's, yeah. It's hard because he's going to get Ghost Ogre. Oh, this yeah. is such a tough spot for Marcello does here. This, does, is Marcello's life points perfectly lined up with the Imperial Order? Ticks. Um, 7, 14. No, it's not. No. No, it's not. Okay, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Well, he, he, even if they, you have 700, you can't pay anyway. Okay, is that a... Okay. Ball, ball. There we go. go. Yep, Ghost Ogre straight away. But Marcello will be able to search for another Zodiac monster to try and set up some plays next turn. Yeah. He's got Maxi. Wow. Michael Forner here really had a lot of stuff. The through blade off the top could be deadly. Well, for Marcello actually he's still got dimensional barrier. He still has he still has a little bit of time 
but it's ticking away every turn. Ram Ram. Yeah. He's used his normal summon on the whip tile this turn. He did. So, Michael drawing. Marcello's going out to 2,300 life points. This is not good for Marcello. Three turns, plus we're now to 200. My body is a shield. Michael Another just my body is a shield that he cannot use, which is going anything. to give Marcello a chance to be able to bring this game back. He might be able to put out the 6,000 damage. He may very He's well be He's got a Ram Ram in hand. He's... Uh, with his normal summon. And he drew in two. Let me see. Just taking a moment. Tanky, Tanky. Yeah. again. Yeah. Not, not again, any good not with that great. Imperial order. Marcello's on 1600 life points. Maxi, yeah. immediately. Yeah, why not? He regretted not doing it against... Uh, against... Petros? Petros during the, uh, the last match. So yeah. why should he risk doing it now? Marcello could attack for 400, but then he does risk he's the gonna, game. He's going to be on 200 life points by the time it gets back to him. He has to go up to Dryden here and get rid of that Imperial Order. He's attacking for 400. I'm oh, pretty sure this is just so he can get rid of that Imperial Order. Uh, but even, well, Michael has two My Bodies as a shield. Michael has to get rid of that Imperial Order at this point. Otherwise, he's going to be on 200 life points. As soon as the Imperial Order falls off, Marcello is going to be able to unleash a flurry of attacks. And we, know, we saw that the Torrental Tribute was thrown out very early in the duel. Yep, here we go. That's the Dryden Michael drawing into... It's he could take out the Imperial Order and then go for Pot of Desire as Far Formation Tank. Well, Far oh, Formation so Tank. He decided to pay an extra 700. And he's paying another 700 for Michael's turn, and then he's going to pop it and, and, and go. Yeah. He drew oh, into Michael drew another flying C. flying C. But there is the Dryden there. But it's. Because he has. Uh, Mar Marcello has a tanky in his hand, so he can get himself a whip tail. Uh, so he can then whip tail under his Dryden and then take out the Flying Sea if he needs yeah. to. He has to. He has to end phase, pop the Imperial Order. You'd think he would. In doing so, he leaves himself... Uh, yeah, he's going to have to Dimensional Barrier any through blade that he sees. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. During Michael's end phase, he, uh, Marcello has to play the Imperial Order. Destroy the Imperial Order, sorry. If he dimensional barriers, yeah, he's going to take out the normal summon, I guess. Yeah. So he's he's damming himself down to 200 life points here. And Michael still has a flying C to throw at his opponent. Zodiac combo. He's going to put a material under the Dryden. Yeah, okay, yeah. He might be able to take Michael out in this next turn. Yeah, Michael only has two of my bodies, doesn't he? Correct. This would be well, he's got the, the most ridiculous comeback I've ever seen. He has he has the flying C as well, so Michael might be able to stop this. Oh, what, you said, what you said earlier is true. He has a, a tanky and then Whiptail's effect underneath the Dryden. and then he has to be able to play from there. So the the, the pot of desires has to draw him some reasonable cards. This is going to be he's going to search for um, yeah throw th th blade, put that underneath it. Then during his turn, he can pop the Imperial Order before it makes him pay life points. Then he can place Tanky, start start doing the combo. Yeah, and then, yeah, he can play the Tanky, then he can get rid of the Flying Sea, and then he has a uh, Dryden in play and a normal summon accessible to him. Yeah. This is assuming he allows the Imperial Order, doesn't allow the Imperial Order to take his life points. I think he has to. Yeah, there, there he go. goes. Yep. 
This is during his turn before he yep, pays. Drop it. My buddy gets a shield doing nothing. There we go. Now he's okay. free to play Pot of Desires, Fire Formation Tenki. He's the Shuffle Reborn not really doing anything from here because he's got cards in hand. Wow, that king was so needy. <laughs> he took a lot. He did take a lot. So is the Flying Sea going to come yeah, down? Yeah, he could fly and soon? see. He could fly and see him now, and then Marcello cannot get to another Dryadent. And he could leave the Flying Sea in attack mode. And he also probably doesn't mind about. Uh, can he? Can you flying do flying sea in attack mode? Yeah, you can. You can, but also the, he's not going to be able to destroy that flying sea because of the my body is a shield or both of them, as it were. Michael has two set. I'm surprised he didn't put that flying sea in attack mode if he's able to. Um, no, 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 no. Michael chooses. Oh right, uh, uh, Michael chooses. Michael chooses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm wondering why he didn't put it in attack mode so he can try and attack over it on his following turn. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Pretty sure you can put it. Are you making me question it? Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering. Um, I mean, you very traditionally throw it in defense mode at your opponent, so they have to waste a battle position change. Uh, on they in do the face of defense position. Ah, it has to be defense. Oh, there you go. Oh, there, you go. there we go. That makes sense. Ah, no, okay. I was thinking back to an old ruling dispute about whether you could switch it to attack mode on the turn that you get it. And the answer right. is no. no. Of course not. It's the same turn it's been summoned. Yeah, fire formation tanky. There was there was a couple of months where you could. <laughs> yeah. Marcello does still have the Zodiac combo in his graveyard, and he's now starting to snowball the game into his favor. Yeah. Michael is all in. He only has two copies of my body as a shield, and he has no other cards. And no Marcello cards. has not been forced to use his dimensional barrier yet. What's what? It might okay. Nothing else. Literally double. He's got double my body, nothing else. Yep. Correct. And um, Marcello still has his pot of desires that he's not played. I think Marcello's going to win this one. You think? He's going to push it to game three. How, yeah. how does he get rid of the flying sea? <sighs> With great skill and guile. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> but Michael, is, is uh, unless he can get a through blade and then pierce over something, and he's got to go through one turn of Dimension yeah, of Barrier. Desires. Okay, Marcello's got Thoroughblade. That's really good. He can just start attacking with that. <laughs> he can literally normal summon that right now and just start attacking. That puts him on a four-turn clock. We've seen yeah, Michael positive. not drawing a ton of uh, Zodiac monsters as of yet. And even if he does at this point, there is still the Dimensional Barrier to deal with. Yeah. So that's going to slow his turn right down. Yeah, I think Marcello is just summoning. Shuffle Reborn and okay, Solemn warning, warning is literally blank. Literally the worst card he could have drawn at this particular moment. Uh, you can set it just to scare your opponent, but it's uh, the strikes are gone, the warning is gone. Down yep. comes the Thoroughblade. I, I think exactly what I said before. Just Thoroughblade, attack, 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 attack. That's, that's Checking the graveyard that's it. of his opponent there. See anything. He's got a card in hand anyway, so Ghost. Yeah, he's asking no cards in hand, so you don't have Ghost Ogre, so I can use Thoroughblade's effect. Yeah, throw out the Solemn Warning. No, he's going to no, throw it's out. It's got to be a Zodiac monster. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so he throws out the Whiptail. That's 1800 attack points. So it eight, is 18, 1800 18, attack points. 18, 56, 54. He's on a four-turn well, clock, because he can switch Fly and Z to attack mode. It doing that is a uh, risky business because if Michael top decks the. No, no, I'm saying on the last turn, he can, oh just yeah, he yeah, can, he can, he can go Thoroughblade, Thoroughblade, and then Thoroughblade Flying Sea will, will be enough. Michael does play a Pot of Desires, so he could, if he played that, drew Thoroughblade an enemy controller. You're that being would be very, enough. very specific. That would be exactly <laughs> 900 damage. Like, we, we have exactly what's on the field, and we know what we can do with what's on Marcello's field. We know what's in, inside Michael Fauna's deck, but to go as far as he needs to draw a pot of desires, use that hey. pot of desires to gain <laughs> these two specific cards. Hey, that could happen. Anything is possible. Okay, well, let's let's watch this throw blade uh, repeatedly hit Michael Fauna. <laughs> oh, Marcello just drew the Trental Tribute. That's great. That's it. That's great for Marcello. Because wow. if... if if it gets to the point where he needs to use the torrential, then at least the flying sea is going to go, and he's going to be able to then My make body some moves. Has a shield. shield. Okay, he's going to have to attack with Thoroughblade a few times <laughs> first. 
<laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're gonna get there. <laughs> Still, okay. So let me let me ta calculate this in, in my head. So if he flip if he flips the flying C to attack mode, then he's gonna do 25 damage per turn. That still makes it a three-turn clock. That's very, very risky play. Yeah. I, I actually, I don't think that's the best move. The best move is just, is just throw a blade. Just attack with that. Flying C in defense position. Yeah, that's it. Has he attacked yet? I don't believe he has. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's just having to think. He's having to think about it. Yeah, Michael really wants that pot of desires. Because without it, he can't draw his two specific cards. He needs to get out of this situation. He has a win con in his deck for the very next turn. That's all he needs to know. <laughs> yeah. So, Marcello has two to like. He has one attack here. The neck. The, assume that barrier stops the play completely. Another attack, and then it's the third turn that's going to be the, the the one. So Michael's going to get three turns worth. But he is top decking. <laughs> like what you know is the, what's the ratios of like dead cards to live cards here for Michael? Uh, let's count deads. All twin twisters, not useful. Michael has just drawn. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Oh. Forbidden to Doesn't apostrophe. actually do anything. Nope. If if Marcello just sticks to his game plan, attacking with Thoroughblade, Marcello wins because he can just he can just flip barrier next turn. If he top decks the uh, whip tail as well, he can just put it under the brood ball and go 16 12. And he has a whip tail in hand. No, 18. Oh, that, yeah, 18. So 18, 14 is uh, 32. Card. Yeah, that would be enough. And then he got a 700 on the fly, yep. too. Yep. So if he draws another monster, he no, wins. He's, he's already got the whip tail. Oh, he so does. He, he can, yeah, he can end some, it. Just summon whip tail, attack with everything. Some whip tail, attack with everything. Job done. Let's well, see if he does it, though, because that could be anything that's set there. Okay. He has TT. He has TT to fall back on. Yeah, and and a defense, defense broad bull. Like, there's no reason Marcello doesn't do this here. Absolutely. Don't even care about Mirror Boss. Nah, another, oh, another blank strong, card yeah. drawn. It's not the time. And to he's loaded up his back row as well. He's now running the math. Yeah. Surely. What a comeback. This is ridiculous. Wow. If this actually happens. <laughs> Marcello started and he has had to fight for this, mind. Yeah. Michael picks up his cards. He sees yeah, he the sees, oh, he saw exactly what's happening. Oh, my God. Okay, so we are now 1-1. One, one. Game three. Game three. That is just insane. He literally almost killed himself with Imperial Order. And, and then... Th there were so many turns there where Michael could, if he just drew a free blade and just start slamming him, yeah. that he would have taken it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The, the clapping you can hear from the crowd here, that is just Marcello keeping mind his cool. boggling. Michael is one game away from stopping Marcello. Yeah. <laughs> Once considered the luckiest man in, in <laughs> London, now the juggernaut of Europe. This is insane. Chat is going insane. That's just whoa. Like what? I don't know what to say. Marche the thing is, Marcello looks fine. He's just like, yep, yep, it's all good. Michael still got. Michael has the advantage going into game three, because he gets to start. And looks like he's actually taking the my bodies out. He must be aware of time. What's the time on the round? He would have asked. He must be considering this is going to go to time. Four minutes. Four minutes left. Yeah, that's why he's done that. He's bringing in the kai juice. Marcello is super clever here. You notice Michael's not doing the same. Although he decided not to use the appointer of the Red Lotus. It's probably pretty smart. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. This is a great final. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever manages to make it through this third game is going to be crowned the European champion. And take home this beautiful trophy that's been sitting in front of us this entire time. Yeah. The thing is, they're both going to Worlds, so they're getting just a, a taste of the level of competition they can expect to face on the final stage. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not easy. <laughs> Certainly not easy. Got to consider, <laughs> for all you know, this could be the easiest round that you're going to play compared to the World Championship. Yeah, exa exactly. This is, the, this is the terrifying thing. Let's see if somebody can finally dethrone Sensuke Hiyama. It's uh, 
Four minutes left on the round, three minutes to use in siding. That's one minute before it goes to sudden death. Challenge is casually checking, make sure that he's not made any mistakes. Has anything changed in the voting? Yeah. What are you guys saying? Let's take a look. Has it changed? 70% Marcello, I believe was the last time we checked. It's only changed okay. a slight, a Seven, tiny bit. 77 to 24 in favor of Marcello. I'm still kind of just shocked at that last game. Like how yeah. I've never seen such a game. That's just insane. It like came down to the wire. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mar Marcello uh, was able to take it. <sighs> my heart's racing. I don't know how they're feeling, but my heart's certainly racing. Again, Michael just staring directly at Marcello. Marcello just staring off to the side. And is the handshake going to come? I'm sure it will. OK, there's another shuffle going on. Another cut. All right. Let's see it, guys. The last round. This is the last round of the tournament. Okay, hands are being inputted now. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Well. And there it is, time is being called. So the final four turns of the tournament. Final four turns of the tournament. Michael gets one battle phase to top all the juggling. Yeah. I feel much I was at a small disadvantage with that 900 life points. <laughs> yeah, he should probably, I, yeah. Do you reckon he said, oh, I'll take the handicap? <laughs> 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 I can do this, don't worry. Um, okay, we're seeing the hands loading in. Uh, Michael, Whiptail, Whiptail, Maxi, Twin Twister, Tenki. Okay. Again, Michael with only one attacking turn. It depends on what Marcello opens to interrupt this setup. If he opens nothing, it m the game massively favors Michael. I think I saw Pot of Desires, Book of Moon. And three monsters. So our tech team just gonna have a quick look at why the life points are wrong there. But we know what that we know what's going on. Yeah, I can't see what's in Marcello's hand. No, I see. Yeah. Oh, he's got three zodiac monsters. He's got no hand traps to interrupt the setup. Uh, but he does have a book of moon and a pot of desires. Good cards to have. Michael has gotten hold of himself a flying C. The free blade might be the deciding factor. Oh, he can always, um, Marcello can always book of moon the uh, flying C. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Yeah, he's Good use of the card. Okay, we suddenly, yeah, there we go. Marcello's hand is fixed. Whiptail, Ram Ram, Free Blade. You've got Desires. And Desires as well. Um, Rupal. Rupal's going to resolve. Michael's got a Flying Sea. Um, is Mochella playing the good old Raigeki and Dark Hole? Uh, He's playing Raigeki, yeah, at yeah, least. Because I noticed that Michael has nothing to stop an incoming Raigeki. Yeah. This is so tense. It doesn't even matter about full board presence at this point. It could get down to the last turn, just a little bit of pierce damage, or a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Could yeah, be it's the, the side factor. He's got a Dryden, and he's going to have a whip tail that he can throw. Okay, that was a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit that was just drawn by Marcello there, just a little bit too late. It does give him a way of answering the Dryden after it uses its effect. 
Pretty yeah. True. Yeah, absolutely. Desires first. Whoop whoop. Let's see what he draws. He's only got access to a live normal summon right now. He's got no barrages or way of special summoning any of those monsters in his hand. And his normal what summon did he draw from, from We're like just about to find out. I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> Thoroughblade, Ram Ram, Whiptail, Bookamoon, Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit, Twin Twisters, and the Rapier. Yeah, he could yeah. go for Twin Twisters here before starting off a combo. Yep. It's not. Yeah. It's not going to be very effective since it was only a Twin Twisters that was down, but Martello now has information that he yeah. is good to go. He's got, well, he's got to deal with Dryden, right? Can well, the Dryden, he's got the Ghost Ogre for it. He can bait it and Ghost Ogre it. He can also just Pokemon it. Yeah, he can Pokemon it and then start his plays. And he's going to fly and seed. Mm. Good point. Depends how Martello reads the situation. Um, the, it, yeah, regardless of how Martello reads this here, uh, Michael has enough stuff. Yeah, that's the book him in the Dryden, otherwise his normal summon's gonna get popped. Or he then if he doesn't book him in the Dryden, it's just gonna get popped. I mean, even if he normal summons the Ram Ram, the problem is the Dryden has a through blade under it, so it's at sixteen hundred, so he's not gonna be able to just push a ram at it. That's the, the the moment the moment that um so he puts something on top of Ram Ram, then it's gonna get popped immediately. Correct. He could go for free blade and go for the discard and take a new card. He's yeah, he I, think, I think that's probably the best option. Okay, he goes for the Book of Moon, so he's yeah. going to get stung by the Flying Sea. Yeah, I think but with the information he has, that is the best move. Because yes. the immediate threat of Dryden versus the potential threat, threat of Flying Sea is obviously you know way heavier weighed towards Dryden. It does, uh, playing the Flying Sea at your opponent does take away your ability to uh, use your Maxi effectively. Yeah. And when your last attacking turn is the next turn. Well, it's technically only his last attacking turn if uh, the life points don't change. Yeah, Thoroughblade. Thoroughblade. Yeah. Checking the graveyard. Does he throw the Maxi at him or the Flying Sea at him? I think Marcello may just poke at this point. No, he can get the piercing damage by going for the upgrade if neither are used. Yeah, I think it's it's in Michael's court here to see what Marcello does. Marcello's obviously, it's ob obviously going to use the effect because he has to. He needs to see a new card from his deck. No point having that many Zodiac monsters. No, he does risk losing it to Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit if he does that. And he, that isn't a, a factor at the moment, but of course, Marcello doesn't know that. We have ultimate information, they do not. I think you have to play through a Blades effect. Either way, he needs to make a decision. So what's, on, what's underneath the Dryden? It's a free blade. Yeah, through blade, so zero defense. Yeah, there's no way it's going to survive a, an attack. I'm just thinking whether just attacking the, the Dryden is, is enough, but <laughs> Michael Forno opening both Maxi and Flying Sea in these games. Michael managed to struggle through it last game. Can he do it again this game? That's the million dollar question. Al, oh, this trophy here is waiting to see the answer. Yeah, it is. hovering the card, he's hovering the card, he runs the math. And this could go sideways. But he needs to make his decision. Flying yep. C. Okay, he chooses not to, gets a flying C. So, yeah. He did use the effect. So he drew a card, what did he draw into? It's good make all the difference. If it's a barrage, I'm going to go insane. As uh, I think the entire room will. It's clearly not Barrage otherwise. No, it's a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. No, we were, he already had that in hand. Ah, okay. There is a third card in yeah. his hand now that we c we've not seen. Dimensional Barrier. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that makes a big oh, difference. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That makes a definitely. huge difference. That's what I see because he got, rid of, he got rid of Michael's Twin Twister. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's huge. Enemy controller. <laughs> We're in the it's third actually turn. Actually, enemy controller gets him some damage in, but it doesn't stop Mar uh, Martello getting the final turn in. 
Yeah. Oh, and everybody just saw what just happened and what was just drawn. Oh, that is good. And he does have a whip tail. He's just drawn the twin twister. Twin, uh, that's and not that going to do him any justice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He can still flip it. He can still just flip it. Yeah. Does he flip it in the standby phase? Or? No, 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 he absolutely waits not. until the twin wait, twister. Wait till twin twister. Wait till twin twister because if your opponent plays into like Broadwell or something, then you just neg them with. Um, yeah, well, I'm wondering that. if he goes just upgrades uh, straight to Dryden. Um, just upgrades straight to Dryden and then um, with the extra materials, so he can take the shot. And it's like, yeah, you dimensional barrier, and now I can still shoot you during your turn. Yeah, okay. No, I think as soon as he goes up to one material monster, he will immediately play a dimensional barrier. Yeah, okay. No questions. He has to do that. And then Michael's best plan is to set the ram ram if that happens? Yes. Yeah, and then we start seeing some crazy stuff happen. <laughs> so what's, what's my child got in hand? Uh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit and ram ram. I suppose then if he goes upgrade, upgrade, shoot, he could go Ghost Ogre. Yeah. Yeah, and then Michael will be. Well, Martello he, then, then he and then Martello gets to keep the um, dimensional barrier. But this is Michael's only mm. attacking turn. Yeah. Unless Martello fails to inflict any damage. What a tense finals. What a tense finals. Oh, there's the twin twister. Oh. And there's the whip tail dropped. And there is the dimensional barrier declaring Xyz. <laughs> where's he going to go from there? Where is he going to go? He can't do He can't leave that whip tail. Well, he has to at this he point. He can't do anything. Well, his opponent can't get the piercing damage. So he's going to set the ram ram. And Martello can't attack into that ram ram because he will lose the duel. But Martello can draw a number of things to, there to are so many draws. There are so many draws in his deck. Oh. And I think uh, everybody in the room just saw that dimensional barrier being played. He's Martello definitely the favorite to win here. Let's take a look position. at the pull. What is? Yeah, and he set the ram ram. He sets a wall. Yeah, okay. Marcello's lead just getting much much stronger. Oh yes, there are ninety okay. votes. For he set the ram ram all down to this. It's all down, all down to, to what this. Marcello, so Marcello is not going to attack into that monster blindly. No, absolutely not. <laughs> the flying C can remove the whip tail. There's no monster in his deck that has an attack greater than the ram ram, so entirely. Right, 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 right. Oh my god! Oh my god! And he wins with Raigeki. He's just going to play Raigeki and yeah, Ram Ram, it, it Ram, Ram, Ram Ram happens. And then... Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's still... He, it's yeah, still, yeah, okay, he needs, him, yeah, he needs Pierce. Okay. Oh. Wow. No, 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 um, no, no. It still works. It still works. He Raigeki's. Yeah. Hit, Ram hit, Ram yeah, can yeah, bring back through blade. C to attack mode. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is it. Oh. Yeah. Raigeki oh. hit, hit the... Hit the He's um, just done this. Whip tail with the throw blade oh. and attack with flying C. That is it. How many rounds was that in total? Eight and... So 17 <laughs> rounds. I don't know. 17, 17 rounds, right? Rounds. 17, rounds yeah, 17 eight, yeah. rounds undefeated. Yeah, 9 and 8. 17 rounds undefeated. Oh, my. Oh. This is just the right on the wall. Machel obviously knows it's Ram Ram. Huge. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That Ram is, Ram the free blade into attack is mode. bonkers. <laughs> Extend the hand. No. Well, he, you know, Michael might see if... Uh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, look at Marcello. <laughs> He's looking at it. It puts uh, free blade in attack mode is his kind of only option. What's Michael have in hand? Can he get an X seed back and then attach? With? No, he's got Max C, that's it. No, Max That C. is it. My, Martello Throw is 17 0. Oh my god. Top point scoring oh. player in wow. Italy and 17 0. It's just a matter of time. This is, uh, Michael surely knows what's going to happen here. Michael needs to make his decision. They're all bad decisions. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yes. There's nothing to be if done. He would love it so very much if he could get his Ram Ram back, but that is not the case. This is the last turn of time. Michael, he just needs to extend that hand. Yeah, Michael. Ha he, Michael has to make this play. He has to. He has to be able to see this. Yep. Free blade yeah, and attack. He's going to lose difference. to his own flying C. Yeah, he's actually going to lose to his own flying C. Oh wow. You gave me a gift, Michael. I thought I would use it. <laughs> the writing is on the wall. What? There's, there's no there's choice here. There's no choice he's, involved. He's, uh, he's thinking, can I trick my opponent with a whip tail play? But no, it's no, not going to happen. There's no way that's going to happen. No, why he decides to end his tournament then. on... Just, yeah. Yes. Swingy, there it is. Swingy, swingy. Check. Yeah, triple check. Double, triple check. 17 uh Boom. And that oh, is by it. the way, Marcello, 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 Marcello. Marcello Marberry, 17 rounds undefeated. The juggernaut has 
won. He is the European champion. That Look is, how happy he is. That is unbelievable. He qualified for us. Didn't even need to come here today. And he did it anyway. And he still cleared it and got it and would have won the invite the old-fashioned way. Let's go to our post-match discussion.